Hello, today we are going to study about the, some type of important organic organic conversions. It means that uh, waste compounds are converted to waste next compounds. So we need to know the conversion. So in this way, we'll be able to convert any kind of the organic compound into the next organic compound. So we have the alkane. It becomes a chloroalkanes. You can say alkyl halide as well okay so how it happens there is type of reaction which is called the free radical substitution and you would have studied in the yes level that uh, there is first step there is initiation chlorine chlorine free radical converts into the chlorine molecule converts into chlorine free radical this is the initiation step one okay and second step is the propagation in which the chlorine free radical attacks on the on the alkanes and uh, free radical of the alkane is formed methyl free radical and ICL is formed in third step there is termination the one chlorine chlorine free radical which is left from here and the one methyl both of them react and CH3 CL will be formed so in this way this reaction keeps on going okay so we get the hello alkanes okay and the second is HCl so in this way if you want to see the overall reaction okay so two chlorine free radical from here one is here one is here methyl is here methyl is here so what is left basically we are left with the CH4 plus Cl and Cl and what we get CH3Cl plus HCl so this was the mechanism and this is the overall reaction so i have told you the mechanism initiation propagation and termination okay next is alkene converts into polyalkenes this is called polymerization what is polymerization polymerization is a process in which the small structure which are called the monomers okay are bonded with each other to form the a long structure that is called the polymer and the process of formation of polymer is called polymerization so you have seen here we have number of alkenes but they are double bond that is they are double bonded with each other but this pi bond breaks and they are linked with each other in the series okay so this is called polymerization and this is a type of additional polymerization because there is only one type of only one type of uh, free uh, one type of unit is used and there is no release of any kind of small molecule so it takes place at the low temperature at the high pressure okay so in this way you can see that polythene is formed you can see this is a alkene okay and polyalkene is formed i tell you uh, how we get the pvc pipes pvc plastic okay polyvalent vinyl chloride basically we have C double bond C carbon here is hydrogen 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 and one when hydrogen is removed from the alkene from the you can say ethene it becomes the vinyl and when there is chlorine with it so it becomes vinyl chloride we have number of this okay and when this uh, double bond is broken down and is used in linking uh, next and with the previous so we get the repeating unit like this carbon carbon hydrogen hydrogen this is also hydrogen and chlorine okay so in this way so this becomes a polymer okay this becomes a polyvinyl chloride poly vinyl chloride and which type of reaction it is which type of polymerization it is it is the additional polymerization because there is only one type of the molecule which are linked with each other and there is no release of small molecule okay otherwise it can become the condensational polymerization alkene <coughs> how alkene converts into bromoalkanes this is by the you can say electrophilic addition reaction Okay, in which the electrophile any species which lacks the electrons and is an electron loving species electro means electron and phyl means loving species because it has a deficiency of electrons so that's why it is called electrophile 
so you uh, uh, so it's uh, you can see that it is uh, one of it is electrophile because it has the partial plus charge and it has partial negative charge okay so it has electron deficiency of electro electron so th that's why it will attack on this actually this pi bond is you can see that is like this uh, carbon carbon sigma bond is like this okay due to add an overlap a pi bond is because of parallel overlap so its electron density is above and below so these electrons are exposed to the electrophile exposed to the to electrophile okay so that's why you can see that this electrophile will attack and will get this there is process we go through this process let me tell you that which type of process it is we get the carbon carbon double bond this is ethene what we have we have sbr partial plus partial negative charges okay this will attack on this always from negative to positive and being electronegative it will take this so you will see that uh, like this hydrogen will be added with it okay so it uh, the electron is also taken from this carbon it has a deficiency of electrons so it will become plus okay now in next step what happens this bromine has a negative it will attack on this and you will get the final product that is the carbon bromine and uh, carbon hydrogen and other two bonds as it is okay so in this way double bond converts into single bond and this is actually take uh, started from the electrophile this is a type of addition reaction in which the pi bond is broken down and this molecule has been added this molecule has been added into it you can see this molecule has been added and the alkene but this started from the electrophile from the attack of electrophile that's why it is called electrophilic addition so next is uh, alkene dibromoalkene it becomes dibromo this is the type this is the polar addition of the polar molecule okay which has a partial plus and partial negative charge but here we have the non-polar but in this case you know that its electrons are exposed so as this molecule gets close to the alkene so the electrons of this are, are repelled and it gains partial plus and partial negative charges because of the repulsion between the electrons and this way the polarity is reduced in this non-polar actually this is non-polar but it, it becomes polar for some time okay carbon here is the br as it went close to it so it repelled its electron it become h br plus br negative for some time it's not a strong polar but it is the polar for some time now this will be able to attack on this and it will be able to take it you will see what will become here is bromine it has plus charge the second bromine which has negative charge will attack on this and in this way both of the bromine atoms will be added in the alkene Okay. this is called electrophilic addition because it also started by the attack of electrophile alkyl hydro hydrogen sulfate hydrogen sulfate oh, this takes place in the cold okay when we have concentrated hydrogen sulfur uh, concentrated sulfuric acid when it reacts okay so sulfuric acid can be converted into the partial plus and partial negative so partial plus will be attacked by this and first step this will be released okay and they will be intermediate step carbon okay plus charge and this carbon containing hydrogen now the sulfate so4 hso4 minus will attack on this okay and what we'll get we'll get this one okay alkyl hydrogen sulfate if we have then we uh, take it through the 
through the alkyl hydrogen sulfate we have then it becomes alcohol if we have water what happens you can say there is the you can say there is the hydrolysis because there is H and OH partial negative charge partial plus charge okay so due to breakdown of this it will attack on this okay and in this being negative will be replaced by hydroxide and this will be get bonded with this hydrogen and this way you will see that OH has replaced it this hydrolysis as well okay because water molecule breaks down and you can also say that it is the nucleophilic substitution reaction because nucleophile attacks alkene alkene can also be converted into alcohol if there is take place the hydration this is a by hydration addition of water molecule okay and uh, the condition is 300 centigrade 6 atm pressure and h3po4 phosphoric acid all these things are required so you can see that actually it contains partial plus charge partial negative charge okay from here the bond is broken down okay so there takes place hydration okay this is the same type of electrophilic addition electrophilic addition i can write here carbon carbon okay plus h and oh minus okay so you can see that partial plus charge partial negative charge this electron will attack on this because these electrons are, are exposed and electrophile attack but the movement of the, uh, of the electron will be from the electronic species to the electron deficient species and you will see what happens carbon plus OH minus so it will then again attack so you will get that three hydrogens and carbon two hydrogen and one OH it doesn't matter if we attach it here or here but it will become CA3 CH2 OH ethanol when we move towards specific then you can see CA3 sorry CH2 double bond CH2 plus H and OH what we get CA3 single bond CH2 and OH hello alkanes converts into the alcohol how it happens when we have reagent uh, sodium hydroxide in aqueous or potassium hydroxide in the aqueous okay so it provides you know that KOH when it, it is in the aqueous so it converts into K plus and OH negative so this being the nucleophile attacks okay so this is nucleophile and it uh, subst substitutes the halogen okay we have suppose CH3 and chlorine specifically partial negative charge and partial plus charge okay so we have hydroxide OH minus it will attack on this and it will be released you will see what happens CH3 OH plus Cl so you can see that uh, halo alkanes converted into the alcohol this is nucleophilic substitution reaction and you have studied SN1 reaction SN2 reaction SN1 is the primary uh, for the tertiary alcohol and this is for the primary alcohol okay by molecular substitution reaction as unimolecular substitution reaction we have studied them in the details okay okay hello alkanes it can also be converted into the nitriles this is also nucleophilic substitution reaction being the nucleophile uh, and here is the addition of one carbon as well okay so under reflex we boil them under reflex means the way the its vapors are not allowed to escape and they are uh, condensed back okay and the agent is KCN in the aqueous solution because it provides the CN okay so you can see that we have uh, let's see the specific ca3 and we take a chlorine okay partial negative charge is a partial positive charge and when there is cn okay 
it detects on this so this will be taken you will see ca3 and cn so it will become ethane nitrile one carbon has been added and this is very important for industrial use okay and here here halogen is released reagent ammonia in the ethanol is a sealed tube condition is the heat so you can see uh, i am going to convert into two forms okay r x r shows the alkyl radical okay and x means the n type of halogen okay plus ns2 i convert into ns2 and ns4 this becomes the partial negative charge and this becomes partial positive charge so partial negative charge partial plus charge this attacks on this one and this is released when it is released so this is waiting for this and they both get bonded you see that r is bonded to ns2 this becomes the amine and plus ns4 that has a plus charge it gets bonded to the halogen halo alkene convert into alkenes by potassium hydroxide that is in ethanol how it happens actually when it is heated and uh, there is you can say elimination reaction removal of small molecule as you can specifically say d hydrohalogenation removal of hydrogen and halogen primary alcohol gets converted into the aldehyde what is primary alcohol this is a basically mild oxidation ca3 ch2 oh and uh, oxidation takes place with the presence of potassium dichromate k2 cr2 o7 this is the oxidizing agent oxidizing agent okay so it provides atomic oxygen you can see here so these two hydrogen are link, are bonded with it okay you get the ca3 c double bond oxygen and hydrogen cho okay the remaining cho and this two these two hydrogen with the oxygen form the h2o and this is called k2 cr2o7 if we have secondary alcohol then it also goes through the oxidation with the help of potassium dichromate but ketone is formed not na ethanol this is ethanol from the aldehyde okay from ethanol it becomes ethanol so ca3 carbon double bond oxygen and ca3 this is formed okay ketone is formed now let me tell you how it is formed uh, if we have secondary alcohol r c h o and r it can be any alkyl group but uh, the carbon which is attached to the alcohol is further attached to two other alkyl groups so it is called secondary alcohol with atomic oxygen what happened this hydrogen and this hydrogen these both hydrogen react with it it forms the h2o and what else is formed the double bonds are formed with the carbon of carbon with oxygen okay so this becomes the ketone aldehyde can also be oxidized further oxidized to the carboxylic acid you know that alcohol converts into the aldehyde and it further converts into the carboxylic acid okay so this takes place with the help of oxidizing agent that is called k2 CR2O7 okay now I'm just going to tell you aldehyde converts into carboxylic acid uh, how aldehyde suppose R C double bond oxygen hydrogen plus atomic oxygen comes from K2 CR2O7 okay potassium dichromate this is a oxidizing agent it provides the atomic oxygen and it converts into the R C double bond oxygen and OH so these are some types of the simple conversions which we study in the organic chemistry which we need to know okay 
and one more is left how alcohol converts into alkene actually this is by dehydration specifically but overall it is called elimination reaction you know that what is here CH2 one hydrogen this is also CH2 hydroxide what happens this H and this OH becomes H2O and uh, CH2 double bond is formed CH2 how it takes place it takes place when there is a concentrated sulfuric acid H2O support this is a dehydrating agent okay it can uh, it is used and it can remove the water molecule from the alcohol okay and ethene is formed some other types of reactions are there for example and when we go towards the carbonyl groups okay for carbonyls okay you know that it contains two types of mainly aldehyde and ketone if both are linked to the then linked to the alkyl group then it is ketone and linked to the uh, one is linked to the carbonyl group and one is necessarily linked to the hydrogen then it is aldehyde okay this is ketone and this is aldehyde mainly these two are, are we are studying but it also contains this carbonyl group in the other for example if we have ester like this carbon dioxide okay this is also one of the carbonyl and if we have carboxylic acid R C double bond oxygen and OH. It also contains this carbonyl group. Okay, so but we are going to study about these things, aldehyde and ketones. When these two groups are present, so how can we identify them? They can be identified by 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine test because with this these two these two compounds with dinitrophenyl hydrazine, they give the deep green precipitate okay so in this way they can be separated from other issues but how can we distinguish between the ketone and aldehyde ketone and aldehyde if we have ketone and we have aldehyde so how can we distinguish we have distinguished these two from other these two from ester and the carboxylic acid but how can these be distinguished ketone is resistant to oxidation To oxidation and it goes through oxidation it shows oxidation so by using by taking this trick by taking the benefit of this feature we can distinguish ketone from the aldehyde we have Tolan's test or you can say this is the silver mirror test in which silver is reduced okay and a mirror is found when there is aldehyde okay silver mirror is found in case of aldehyde but not in ketone because because uh, you can see that uh, silver mirror is found in case of aldehyde but not in case of ketone so in this way when there is silver mirror does so we can say that this is aldehyde okay and then next is falling solutions in which the cuprous oxide cu2o cuprous oxide is formed and it has the red color okay so falling solution is also based on the oxidation Alde aldehyde is uh, oxidized and it gives the red color okay and it doesn't give so in this way we can distinguish between the ketone and aldehyde by these two okay one more thing that is a reduction what is reduction? Reduction means, for example, uh, the, you can say the loss of hydrogen. Okay. Uh, sorry. You, yes, you can say the uh, loss of loss of oxygen or gain of hydrogen. This is our reduction. Suppose we have carboxylic acid. It can be reduced. How it can be reduced? It can be reduced with the help of uh, lithium tetrahydro sodium uh, tetrahydro you can say hydride borate as you can say it can be like uh, this is a reducing agent it provides the 
atomic hydrogen aluminum hydrate hydrate is can be lithium tetrahydride aluminate or here can be the boron as well okay instead of this so these are the reducing agent and this provide the atomic uh, hydrogen so in this way converts as it converts into the into the aldehyde and then further it is reduced to the alcohol i am writing here one equation okay ca3 c double bond oxygen oh four atomic oxygen come from from the same reducing agent sorry four atomic hydrogen come from the same reducing agent because it will provide the atomic hydrogen in the same way as the oxidizing agent provides the atomic oxygen so this is the reducing agent it provides the atomic hydrogen two hydrogen will react with this oxygen it will become h2o plus two hydrogen will be added on its place so you will see that ca3 ch2 and oh will be formed okay but if we take it slowly okay so what we get to here only if, if we take here the two hydrogen so first of all here the aldehyde will be formed next then if we take the two hydrogen okay so you will see that here the alcohol will be formed so if we do it directly it is also possible we can show that directly conversion of the carboxylic acid into the alcohol it's also possible but we'll have to provide the four hydrogen and if we want to show the mild and the gradual oxidation uh, reduction sorry so you can see the two hydrogen to replace this oxygen as two okay so here the aldehyde will be formed it is called ethanol okay cho and when the two hydrogen are further added then it is ethan ethanol okay alcohol is formed so these are some type of the conversion which are very important to understand so here are some important steps which you need to know which are called the tips to solve the organic equations uh, you need to learn all the mind maps of the organic reactions means all types of the conversion that how suppose how alcohol is converted into the carboxylic acid okay how it is first converted into the aldehyde and then it is converted into the carboxylic acid what is this this oxidation like this you need to know that which type of conversion it is okay and to understand it uh, actually these were given the full structure formula but uh, at that time you might be given and you are given mostly in the US level and the skeletal formula so you don't go into the detail into the length of the molecule you don't need to know the name okay, you just focus on the functional group look for only the functional groups in the given compound and recall the reaction for them what it means it means uh, that you just have to change you have to see the conversion in the functional group so functional group indicate that which type of conversion is going on okay always draw the structure of the given compound first and then only try for the answer then uh, first of the all what you will have to do that you can draw the structure from the skeletal formula to the full form formula and then of both of the structures which were given in the skeletal formula then you can easily indicate that which type of the functional group is going to be converted into the next and when you have the all mind maps of the organic reactions then you will be easily able to predict which type of conditions are being used what is the reagent for this specific type of the conversion so this is only possible if you revise all of these which i have provided you best of luck